Hello and welcome to Starting Imperial Knights video number four. This is Andrew and let's crack on with the Warglaives. So yeah, I've got my two boxes of this and the other box is still in the cupboard my uh, secret pile of shame but for now we'll just look at uh, one of these I don't know how many of these I'll do on camera but I've not opened this box yet so we'll have a look inside these two jobs lads are finished so they can go wait over in the corner for now and let's get a look in here if I can find my way in Take off the cellophane wrap. So obviously my guys are not going to be red. But they do have different body parts, so we'll have to look into those. Looks like the carapace is the same though. I think the heads are the same. Got different markings there. Obviously the different arms. So let's have a look inside. These are probably all going to have melter weapons. I think it's probably going to be the same. There's the instructions. Oh, it's just kind of two pieces. And it works the same. Of fold it in and it should freely move. Okay. Uh, and then... Have a look. That's two identical screws. And. Oh, wait. There's the other base. And again, carapace and arms. I think that's pretty much the same sprue as the other one. And then the legs and bodywork and arms. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah. so all the different stuff. The legs are there. Uh, but we do get different head options then if this sprue's different. Um, hmm. So it looks like three sprues the same as the other kit, and one sprue different. So, okay, interesting. So we need one of each. And a base. And they're going to go back in storage, so I'll put this all away and come back in a second. Well, it's been almost two weeks um, since I did the last part of this. Um, I've been busy doing a few other bits and pieces, playing a few games. Uh, to catch us up, I got the, uh, the base for this fella done. Again, he's magnetised. Um, and it sits on this one quite well. Just a little bit of overhang, but this one actually holds it. So in future, I need to maybe have them standing on the mud. But I, and then I finally got it all sprayed down. I've kind of been distracted because I've picked up um, these ladies, um, which are getting painted up in the same sort of color scheme. So there's the, the background for these guys is forming my head. I think this is going to be a from a matriarchal planet. So all of these guys will have female pilots. Um, if I ever get the, the big fella with the, the mini model in it, I'll have to kitbash, take some spare sister bits and things and try and kitbash uh, that into a, a female pilot, maybe have them popping out, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what's happening here. So the next step, obviously, is the sisters very nicely step to the side while I focus on this. I don't think there will be a starting sister series, but they will appear on the channel as and when they're... Uh, reaching 500 or 1,000 points. Might aim for 500. See about fielding these together. See what Christian thinks about that one. The next step, obviously, is now to, again, do all the... thin down the white and just do plenty of layers of the white over and over again. Let it all dry. And then uh, nulling all everything else down and add the blues. I think I'm going to use... Uh, where is it? So I think the, high, the sides on this one will be uh, 
Balthazar gold. So uh, all these uh, bits here with the Balthazar gold. Oops. The bits around the edges. So I'll have the brighter gold one, which will be the HQ choice for the whole thing. This one in the, this Balthazar gold will be the in effect the lead um, war glaive. And then all the others will be in the silver, like the, the second uh, Helvrin. I'll jump back after either the whitewashes are a bit more along and we'll check in for progress. All right, a little bit of touch base of progress. The two shoulder pads are finished. I decided this time both these bits here will be blue. I need to get some washes done, some washes on the other bits there. Um, a bit more, use some washes into the recesses in there, the blue on there, so that's going to be, this bit needs all the gold, so I had the aluminium put into it, and then the washes on the the stacks there. So it's coming along, I need to figure out the arm, I'm not sure what to do here, oh and I apologise that the lighting's changed, I have a big light that comes down into this direction, and the bulb went ping, um, I'm waiting on a replacement LED flat panel. So there's, there's two of them, so I can maybe have either side and get lots of light in the situation for both painting and video. That'd be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to figure out this bit. It needs some more, um, more white put into it. And then I think maybe if I can get some grey stripes and then dry brush it. So it looks like it's been a bit worn. And then, yeah, I'm not sure about this bit. There's going to be some gold trim there. Just put a little bit of white around the top there, just for a bit of splash, and then uh, then I need to do the washes on that to get the like the heat stress on it. So we we'll go from there. Hopefully, the next jump cut will be me with a finished model. Um, that will probably take a couple of days to get to that point, but here we go, and here we have the model finished. Dubbing this one Earhart. Um, Pretty tough with this one, how this one's come out. So um, we have the uh, three of them done now. So again, it's magnetized. And I'm quite chuffed with the, the panning across the top. And uh, this one will have the melter to go with that one. So that's how these guys operate. Good timing. So I'll just have a quick overview of the, the three models. I'll be coming uh, right back in a second. So we have the three models and uh, the new Canon S that's going with them. So these will be from the, the same world and sort of the, the law. So we've got the Lady Diana, Nightingale, and Erhart. Um, so these three will go together like this. Um, I've got three more of these ones to build which I shall build I just completely swapped the direction it was going. Fair enough. So <laughs> I'll build up these three and then come back together with all six. And hopefully have some more of the, the sisters done as well. But for now, this is the, the way that the Imperial Knights are starting to look. And uh, that wraps it up for this video. So this is a bit of a shorter series. Um, so we'll come back when we've got all six of them together and then after that the uh, next uh, video will be when I get one of the, the bigger nights. So thank you very much for watching the Karen Sector. I've been Andrew. Please do like and subscribe, comment and uh, give me some hints and tips for playing Imperial Knights. I've never played them before so we'll see you in the next video.